Well, I've been doing paranormal investigations for 10 years now, so for a complete decade. I didn't incorporate my psychic abilities into several years into it, and that was kind of uh, nerve-wracking for me to embrace that side of who I was, and I had established myself as a really credible scientific paranormal investigator and I was nervous to talk about this other side of me and and when I finally did I found that my investigations got better my evidence got better and my life got better. I did have one demonic case I usually try to steer clear of that so out of you know over 10 years I've had one so I try to definitely stay away from that I've had a couple malevolent cases I've been picked up I've been scratched I got thrown one time so I've, I've had a few run-ins that you know, you don't want to have, but it's, it's part of the job, it is, so make the best of it. Our lost loved ones are not as far away as we think. You know, if they live in your heart or if they live right behind you, you know, it's, you take the belief that there's a soul, the soul's an energy source where energy never dies. So there's proof that they're still living. It's that simple. But it's that thing that all relationships, may it be friendship, lover, business, whatever, they're all meant to be. But not every single relationship is meant to be forever. They're all meant to be, but they're not all meant to be forever. It's, it's all an experience, and that, that's the awesome thing about going through. None of us have a successful relationship unless we die with the person that we're with. We're all, we all have a series of relationships behind us that we've been able to learn from and go forward. So there's no, you know, there's no relationship that's not worth, worth having and, and sticking it out. And I think I've just learned along the way that as much time as I spend dealing with the dead, I need to spend equally as much time with the living, and that includes me. And if I'm true to myself and my abilities, then everything seems to fall in place. And I feel a lot of the radio interviews and events that I do, you know, we talk about the paranormal, talk about spiritualism, metaphysical principles. So it's not just all about, you know, the psychic aspect. You know, I love sitting down and having conversations about the importance of meditation, the law of attraction, you know, the chakra systems, all of those things like that. Because so much of it, I believe, can go hand in hand with paranormal investigating as well, and especially with psychic intuition.